Uh, okay, uh, today in our laboratory of Safe Theater, we have uh, our offline guest, Frédéric Poti, a theater director, producer, and uh, 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 the, he's also working with uh, IETM, uh, uh, International um, uh, Network. Network for uh, Performing Arts. Uh, it's glad that we have uh, Frederick here in our offline uh, part of the laboratory, the only speaker that we have here. Uh, and uh, today he will make this presentation for you and for our participants at the same time. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So hello. Uh, first, I will introduce myself very shortly. As uh, Maxim says, I'm a producer. I'm, I'm working for a, a puppet group, a puppet company, a, pu a group who, that works for any kind of audience, not especially for the children. We don't have performance especially for children. We just uh, perform for, for all the old audience. Uh, the theater is called Théâtre de la Massue. It's based in Nice, in France. And uh, previously, I've been the director of uh, an, a festival in front of Avignon. Maybe you know the Avignon Festival, which is very famous. And just on the other bank of the river, I uh, built a festival with uh, only circus tents and, and open air performances. This is the only place in Avignon for this kind of, of, uh, of shows. And I ruled this during 10 years. Uh, and what else? So, and I'm also member uh, of IETM and member of the advisor committee of IETM, which is one of the of the level of of uh, oh, I'm yellow now. Uh, one of the of the one of the uh, ruling of, of this uh, of this network. IETM is a is a big network uh, covering. All of uh, all the world, we've got members in Sydney, in Yokohama, in, in Canada, and many of them are, are in uh, are in, in Europe, but we also spread all over the world. So I will try to have a, a reflection about the safe theater. First of all, I've uh, said we can call that uh, less audience and more space but I prefer the provocative way, too much audience and not enough space. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the pandemic now, we've got to, to, to rethink our, uh, our way of working. Yesterday, we had a very interesting uh, day about the Zoom and, and, and all the kind of, of uh, implication of the pandemic. I won't talk a, a lot about Zoom because we are, it's been told and, and we will talk, talk again about it. Um, but I will start by Zoom anyway. <laughs> uh, Zoom is one of the way to, to, to be safe, but safe theater, what, what does it mean safe theater? Uh, it's safe for the audience, it's safe for the actors, is it safe for our economy? It's, there's a lot of way to be safe in the in this new uh, in this new world. Uh, first of all, safe for the audience, of course. Everybody saw to Zoom and the online way. For me, even if it's a, it's a good way to to maintain the the contact and the link with the audience, there's a, there's a trap in it because uh, this is not our job. <laughs> uh, we, we can use it as we use video, as we use uh, uh, other media. But, you know, if there's a fight on, on this kind of medium, we will lose because uh, Google is better than us, YouTube is better than us, Netflix is better than us. And, and this is not our, our field. So we've got to use it to, to keep the link with the audience but we've got to take care. This is just, uh, for me, 
this is only my opinion, but it's, it's just a, a, a way to and, and a, a tool to keep the link with the audience and don't lose them during some because we've had a lockdown, but maybe we will have another one uh, and others and others. We don't know when this will stop. We, we talk about vaccine, but nobody knows exactly when it will happen. And if it works, we are talking about the vaccine of AIDS also, and it doesn't work. And we don't have <laughs> from years and years. So uh, for me, it's it, we've got to use Zoom and we've got to take care to Zoom because we, we may lose our soul in it. Uh, I used to think that safe theater is uh, as exciting as safe sex. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm old enough to have known the pandemic of AIDS <laughs> and it changed our life in the 80s uh, as it, uh, this pandemic will change your life. So we've got to take care about what is safe. Theater and, and art is not uh, made to be safe. It's, it must uh, scratch, <laughs> you know? Uh, and this is one of the, of the very important uh, action of the of artist is not to be clean and and, uh, and still it must have bubbles so we've got of course we've got to take care of our uh, workers we've got to take care of our audience but we don't we, we must uh, remind that we are here to disturb the society so be safe but not too much <laughs> Uh, th there's some other way to, to be safe and to keep the way and, and the connection with the audience. Because our problem now is a connection with the audience anyway. This is the only problem we've got. We don't have a problem of ID, a problem of inspiration. We've got the problem of, of the, the link with the audience. So in my career, I've worked on several uh, special forms of, of performances. One is the one single audience uh, performance. So I will show you some, some example uh, on video. Uh, we've got a performance in the company which is called Meridienne. And I will invite you if you need tomorrow. We turn this on an online uh, performance, on an online show. This is the only one we make online. <laughs> but this one can fit. Because usually on the Meridian, we, we invite uh, 12 people for dinner. So 12 people are here in the room. And in another room, there is the Meridian, there is a, the performance. And every three minutes, someone is taken to the other room, got his performance for himself alone, and come back to the table. And another one goes. And it's very interesting because all the balance of the table changes uh, during the, the, the show. It's one hour, 12 people, five minutes. 60 minutes so uh, but we can we've turned it online and we can uh, if you if you want tomorrow we can have uh, this experiment so by zoom just you know we can use zoom for that because there's one room in zoom one other room you can split the rooms in zoom and in the other room you've got the, the video of the performance and this is the first one everybody is here and can talk and so, so we'll try it if you agree with that uh, tomorrow evening I will explain you how we connect. So this one is Meridian. Uh, maybe I can show you some images of Meridian if I manage to do it. Yes, split the screen. This one. Okay. So this is Meridian. This is this performance. So it's a, it's a very small puppet and it's uh, uh, the, the position is a safe position because when you're alone with the, with the puppet, uh, uh, yeah, it's in Russian. <laughs> we played it in Yaroslav. And uh, you've got here the waiting room. So the, the lunch is here, the dinner is there. You've got the waiting room and here you've got the performance. So it's really, uh, uh, but you will see it. I don't want to show you too much because if we do it, it's, it's better to, to discover it. One of the problem to be safe with this is, uh, is to, to, 
disinfect between each uh, spectator. If we want to be absolutely safe, you don't have the right to, to uh, have two people in the same space without uh, disinfection. And, and so it's a problem of reason. Our, one of our problem with the safe theater is a problem of rhythm and, and theater is rhythm. Uh, you can have a, a theater without rhythm. It's, it's, a, it's a base of the, of, the, of the art. So we've got to, to invent something for this rhythm and, and to, to uh, change our performances anyway even if they're more or less adapt to the pandemic situation, we've got to, to take care of everything. There is uh, another performance I, I, I liked a lot. I, this is a group I invite several times in my festival. It's called Into. It's, uh, I will show you some images also. Uh, so this is the single audience for single, uh, for, for, it's small performance of single audience. There's problem of, for that, of course. Uh, let me see, I must share again here. This is not a good one here. So this performance is from, uh, this performance is from Alexandra Tobelem. She is now the uh, director of the National Theater of, uh, National Theatre of Thionville in the east of France. This is a small performance. There's uh, five boxes, and it, each box is as an actor, but is separate from the audience by uh, by uh, part of the set and just small windows, and you can turn it with plexiglass if needed. And and the audience is getting in the box. Oh, Oops. Okay. Oops. 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 What is it? Okay. Ah, it's another performance of Alexandra, but so you don't have to. Sorry. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so this performance is uh, from the National Theatre of Thionville. Uh, she, she's already uh, done it. This is performance we can turn on a safe way and we can uh, still uh, tour. Uh, I will show you other things, that, uh, but it's all based on the same system for a small box, so one audience, one actor. There is other kind of performances we can do. It's performances with the headsets and and then people working. And it's now we, I can show you also this one if you want. It's, yeah. it's nice videos. So uh, this one is made by Beget Theater. Beget Theater is a French company also, and uh, they are. Oops. Where is it? Oh, I'm not very fluent in the. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. This one is very interesting also. But this one. Okay. So, Beget Theatre is a, a Franco Americano company. She is from the US. She's from the USA, is from France. Mettez, mettez les écouteurs, ne les quittez plus jamais. S'il y a un souci, je serai dans le coin. 
Voilà, allez-y, c'est parti, vous êtes autonome. C'est sur ces quelques indications que débute le spectacle Histoire cachée proposé par la compagnie du Béga Theater. Les spectateurs se lancent donc dans l'inconnu, casque sur les oreilles avec pour seule consigne suivre un objet qui va passer dans les mains de quatre personnages. Commence alors une balade sonore d'une heure trente pendant laquelle on propose aux personnes présentes de vivre une expérience inédite, entendre les pensées des passants dans la rue. Tu as tout ce qu'il te faut. Rentre à la maison et passe l'aspirateur comme prévu. Prépare la maison pour ton anniversaire. Sois une mère compétente et une épouse impeccable. Tu vas bien tu dois juste prendre tes clés, aller à ta porte. C'est parti à partir de l'idée de, de se dire qu'on regarde les gens dans la ville. Euh, bah, Qu'est-ce qu'ils peuvent, qu qu peuvent avoir dans la tête Qu'est-ce qu'ils peuvent penser Donc un peu de la curiosité en fait envers les gens. Donc on a imaginé ce spectacle où les, les spectateurs se baladent avec les casques audio sur les oreilles et ils entendent les pensées des, des passants dans la rue. Donc en fait leur regard va, va commencer à regarder les comédiens mais aussi toute la ville autour. Donc la ville devient un décor. Tous les gens dans la ville deviennent en fait des figurants de leur film, de leur spectacle qu'ils sont en train de regarder. Où est le théâtre Où est la vraie ville Tout commence à se mélanger. Un mélange qui au final offre aux spectateurs une balade poétique et déroutante dans lequel chacun en se laissant aller se découvre petit à petit acteur. C'est bien mieux que d'autres spectacles de théâtre de rue où on n'est que spectateur puisque là c'est vrai qu'on est spectateur mais on déambule comme on a envie et du coup ça, ça me fait repenser en fait à ce qu'on voit par exemple dans le cinéma où on entend euh, les personnages qui sont dans leurs pensées pendant qu'on les voit circuler, sauf que là, nous, on est dans l'écran avec les comédiens. Si vous souhaitez vous aussi vous faufiler dans les pensées d'un inconnu, les prochaines représentations du spectacle Histoire cachée auront lieu samedi 13 octobre à Port Saint-Louis. Vis tout instant de ta vie comme si c'était ton dernier. Ok, so stop. Where is stop? Here, stop. No, stop. Ah! Definitely, I'm not good. Ok. Uh, so this performance is uh, is open air, so we compense the the the, the lack of the, the lack of audience, more audience but more space. Uh, this is a way to turn it. I can show you two other things, and after we we uh, we will speak again. Uh, this one is. Uh, First, I will make the Oleg uh, performance. It's a performance in, uh, that was I've seen in Petersburg, in St. Petersburg. Uh, it's a performance based on, on the Orpheus myth, and, and uh, it's done in a car. So a, we go back to small space. So in a car, of course, this is a good way to, to have uh, some, some performances. So one people goes to the car and you bring her in the, in the, in the town and it met actors and it's uh, about the same that, that what we've seen, but uh, maybe I can show you the teaser also. And then we will finish by credence uh, uh, check performance. Uh, if I go there, it's better. Uh, Alia is here, yes. So this one is from Petersburg. Uh, 
then we will finish with the... ah uh, okay and the last one is credence sorry but this is disturbing me i cannot see no, it's not here it's here no so it's me okay i see uh the last one is from uh is from a czech group the cult festival where is it it's not here it's not here i've lost it no it's here so this one is a, a special one is a performance made uh, in a train so you're in the train and the uh, all the performances are outside and you look at it from the window during a trip of uh, something like five or, or or six kilometers and there's spots and then you look at the performance by the windows you've got the sound in it it's uh So this one is uh, it's an old performance, but we can turn it also in a safe way. Uh, and you can see in the example I, I've selected, but there's nothing in the in room, in the hall, in the venue. <laughs> uh, everything is outside or in a special, uh, special set, special scenography. In France, we are allowed, I guess it's the same here. Uh, to have uh, people in this in the room for the theater, Did, are the theater reopened here? Right. Yes, with special safe uh, yeah, one, 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 even if they're of the same group. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so it's half the uh, half the, the the possibility of the of the whole. In France, it's uh, a little bit more because we are allowed to have uh, if a group book all together, they can sit together. Yeah, here also. If you want ah. people, you and your family. Okay, you can together, sit and one and one. Okay, yeah. so it's the same. Anyway, it doesn't work economically. <laughs> Uh, and for us, it doesn't work in the red zone, and all the main uh, town now are in red zone, so uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, yes, so you've seen that this uh, is so outside or with with uh, very few uh, audience. So it's another problem. At the beginning, I said safe theater, but safe uh, safe theater is safe audience. It's safe. Uh, artists, safe actors, of course, we've got to be also in a safe way when we are on the stage. And as an employer, we've got the responsibility of the health of our salaries. So we must, uh, I guess it's the same here, but uh, if my salary is uh, ill because I didn't uh, impose the, the, the good the good way and the safe way it will be on my fault so this is another way to to be safe uh, you've got to be a safe employer too and you've got to take care to your salaries and the, and the third part is the safe economy because as you see those performances 
it's very nice, but it works with a subside. Uh, it works with with uh, funding of the state or or, or a big uh, sponsor, but you cannot uh, earn money with a one single audience performance. You know, Meridian for us, it's uh, one hour is twelve people. Even if we play four hours, we do it four hours a day. It's forty eight people. It doesn't work. Uh, just the salary of the, of the actor is is older than the, than the incomes. So we, we've got to imagine another way. Uh, I don't have the solution. <laughs> but this is a, a real problem. And, and uh, ah, I moved. Sorry. The, the Another uh, another way, of course, is the open air because open air you can put a lot of people, much more people, but it's technically uh, very difficult to you've got to 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 have a technical way to be heard to 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 connect to the audience. So this is another problem for for that. And the last problem, but not the least, is touring. Our company is working, 70% of our performances are abroad from France. We're, so now it's totally stopped. You know, we, we've got performances in the repertory, but we've played it very, uh, very much in France and all the theater have already got our performances. So we cannot tour in France and we used to tour uh, abroad and, and we cannot because of the, of the pandemic. So there's, it's another problem of the safe economy of the, of the theater. What happens if I go on tour, for example, here in Ukraine for eight days and the 14 days waiting, eight days working and 14 days when I come back home. It's one month and a week for one week performances. Who pay my actors during this 28 days? This is another problem. And uh, another problem is to, to have our set trapped at the custom in the entrance of the, at, on each border. So we imagine, and we are working on it uh, with a group, and we had the, some, some discussion in IETM for that, to solicit European Union or, or our, our government to uh, make special funds. You know, there's a billion now, we find billions, I don't know where they were, we don't have money uh, eight months ago, and now we've got billions. So <laughs> we, we asked the government to use a part of these billions to, to uh, support the, the, the art and the artist and the touring. Because according to me and some friend of me, uh, the most difficult part of the reconstruction will be the international exchanges. In local, we find the way. Theatre find the way since 2000 years. So uh, since 2000 years, we said theatre is dead. Uh, theatre survive. It survives to cinema, it survives to Netflix, it survives to, to uh, everything. So I don't, I'm not afraid for theatre. But the international exchange, it's really uh, recent in the, in the story of the theatre. And this can be turned uh, off. For example, uh, Hungary totally closed the border and you cannot uh, perform in Hungary now. Due to the pandemic, but the politic of Hungarian will be uh, to, to follow that. And the risk is to, to have some uh, a, a kind of, of enclosure on our own culture and, and no, no more exchanges. And one of the, uh, the most important thing in the, in the international exchanges is to know the other. And the more you know the other, the more you, you the, the less you've got conflict. <laughs> so this is one of the, of the, of the aim of the theater for me. So we, we've got to think how we can tour internationally again. And that's some way we can, okay, have some fund for, for, to pay the, the, the time in the, in the quarantine. We, we can uh, also 
transfer with the new technologies. Now we, we are able to transfer some uh, sketches and, and, and to do another set on the other place and the props and, and everything can be made. It's, it's economic way, you know? If, you, if you've got the money to pay, okay, I pay here a group to rebuild my set in Ukraine. This is work for Ukrainian people and I can tour here and I've got the money for that. And that's the difference. When I come, when I invite some group in France, I can rebuild the set also. It's easy now. We can, with, with, uh, you just have to send the sketch and, and people work on it. It's just a question of money. Because I really think that all these problems can be solved by money. Money can do a lot of things. And if you're able to, to rebuild a set, you can tour. And we've got to change also the mind of the touring. Usually we tour for one, one performance here, and then we go there, and then there, and there. So we've got now to organize different, differently uh, to, to have a logical touring. One of my friends, Patrick Penaud, is, is working for a wonderful festival in, in France, which is called Sans Interdit. He invites people from all over the world, but every time he works, it's BNL, but he works for two years to find all the dates and all the performances for, for them. Because when, when you've got a group come from Chile, it's absolutely stupid to make the cross Atlantic for one or two performances and go back. So we've got to, it will be a necessity now. It was because of the sustainability, but now it's, it's uh, sustainability and pandemic. Both of them push us to, to change our logical of, of touring. And, and, and what else can I tell you? <laughs> yeah, so the safe touring, the safe economy, uh, and, and my, my fear is that all this uh, international exchange reduce and reduce and reduce. For example, we've got a Creative Europe project, which is called Innoipop, Innovative European Puppetry. And we, we are working with Bulgarian, with uh, Italian. And of course, now everything is on Zoom. We don't have a red meeting and, the, and, it's, and it reduces the, the, the performance. This project is best is based on. I come back to the Zoom and the digital. You know, uh, at the beginning I said digital and Zoom is must be a tool to, to for the living heart and not a, a replace. And we develop this project like this uh, of exchanging. Uh, We've got one of our performances, which is called the Small Theater from the End of the World Part Two, because we've got the part one also. But on the part two, we develop uh, the performance and uh, a game, a video game, linked to the performance and the database of puppet for professional. So it's it's uh, the three heads of, of the product of the project. Performance, okay, we know how to do it. Uh, the, the game, we are working on it. So it, it, there's a connection between the game. Gamers at home can uh, interact with the performance and the performance is relayed by the game. It's a kind of, of uh, escape game. And when you find the solution, there's a room that opens and you're in the middle of the performance with this kind of small object. This is a 360 degrees camera. So you, we use the, the, the video as, and, and the game and the digital as a way to show something we cannot do in real life. In real life, you cannot be at the place of the puppet. You can be the puppeteer, you can be the audience, you cannot be the puppet. In the game, you can be the puppet because with this, when you go to the, to the good room, you're in the middle of the set and you're the, you're the puppet. And you can see 360 degrees, the performance. And another part of this project is also the exchanging of, of uh, technologies. Uh, so we, we scan some puppet and we send them in 3D files and then we print, print them in th with 3D printers. 
the idea is to have the artistic act at the beginning, the artistic act at the end, and use the digital only as a medium. We, we model the, the, the puppet, we scan it, we send it on the other side of the world, and then they print it, and on the print, they made all the, the latex and all the, the, the artisanal act. And, uh, so this is a safe way <laughs> to exchange some, uh, some technologies. What I've got to say in all this is we've got to be and to take care of being safe, as I said at the, at the beginning. Safe is, uh, is minoring our, our, our abilities of, of disturbing the society. So be safe, but not too much. <laughs> okay, uh, if maybe now we can have a, an exchange and, and, and uh, speak because I think I've said a lot of things and maybe you've got questions, maybe we can focus on some points. If you want, I can explain you a very uh, boring economic system of France for the culture. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you for the week. Uh, it's, even, it's funny that even now we can communicate with Bruno and Stanton here. Um, uh, yeah, this, uh, we, we, we will have this Q&A session for, uh, with, with the group, with our uh, participants. Uh, I think that we will stream it. We'll try to stream it as well. So yeah, um, I'm fed up with this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's, let's go ahead. Yeah. So I think uh, uh, if if you have if the participants have any questions, so please ask, and uh, we will just have I don't know how much questions we can we can count like three or okay. No, it's fine. I have a question about IOTM. Uh, oh, yeah. I want you to learn more about possibilities and about this next meeting in online. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry. I think that the only problem that it won't be hearable yeah. from there. So please, someone ask who asks a question, come, come closer, probably here, and then ask. <laughs> Just. Uh, yeah, 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 you're perfect. Not too close. Not too close. <laughs> Uh, I want to ask about the possibilities of IETM for uh, this network and exchange, exchanging in the time of pandemic. Um, just to tell more about structure and how yeah. it uh, uh, tried to solve this problem now about structure of IETM network. Okay, uh, so IETM network, as I said uh, briefly, is a really a big network for all over the world. And of course, for us, it's a big problem because we used to meet every, twice a year, a minimum, for two plenaries, one in autumn, one in spring. Spring was supposed to be in Tromsø, in Norway. We must cancel it. It was in March. So, And the next one is supposed to be in Belgrade. And Belgrade is closed also, so we could not do it. So we changed our mind. And we organize a multi-location plenary. But this is the same as what I say. We, we combine the live uh, meeting and the online meeting. So th this one will be on 20 locations from Sydney to Yokohama to Quebec to, to, to Norway to a lot of place. One will be in Avignon. Uh, and we will have a day, full, two full day of exchange and, and discussion and, 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 and laboratories on the concrete way to, to, to tour internationally and to reinvent the, our job. And it will be mixed with uh, online uh, with online meetings. All, all together, we connect uh, for, for three hours each day. Uh, with all the all the, the location, and after that, everybody follow is. It's open to members and non-members. It's free, so you're welcome. You've got to go to the website of IETM, IETM.org, and then you can register for any meeting. There's no meeting in Ukraine, but uh, there's online meeting. You can just uh, sub subscribe to the to the, the online meeting. It's 
This network is very interesting because we, we are uh, gathering some information from all over the world of, of the practice. So we are very aware of the pandemic all over the world and the way it, it turns and the way the government and the, and, and the funding is, uh, is used. ITM has got a special position because we are a lobbyist of the European community. Uh, and we are talking with the, with the institution and we are all together. It's, we are very, uh, a lot of people, so it's difficult to, to, to make our mind. And, but we are working on, the, on, the, on this way to, to save the, the artist and especially now it, uh, in, the, in this pandemic time. So we are uh, working on, on the European status of artists because there's lots of difference even in Europe. Uh, it's absolutely not the same status for, for, the, for the Italian or for the Hungarian or for the Belgian. In France, we've got the lack of have, uh, to have a real in good uh, status for artists. For example, if you work 500 hours a year as an artist, you've got an employment system for one year. So it's uh, really comfort for us. And, and it's difficult to have with 500 hours, but when you've got it, it's for one year. And in one year, you've got to do 500 hours again and again. And this system works for the uh, artist, for the, some kind of administrative uh, works and for the technician. And for the pandemic, for example, in France, we extend this system for more than one year. So without justification of any hour works. But it's a crisis. Uh, it's a crisis result. Uh, yes. So and so we work on this. We work on on the on on different uh, way, as I explained to our tour, our touring, our our finance the, the international because it will be uh, now the, the the plane tickets are very low because they need to sell it. But in a few months, it will be awful uh, and it will be very, very, very expensive. So this uh, extra cost also has got to be found if we want to tour internationally and if we want to, to exchange again. Did I answer to your question? No? Yes? Not at all. Yes, thank you, but not at all, because uh, I, um, I read this, it's, it's not a manifest, but some kind of manifest published on IHM web page about uh, when network tries to solve or suggest uh, uh, how to solve the problems that we are facing in our theatres, and uh, it was like a huge manifest. Can you tell more about this, what IHM was thinking? Like, what yeah. IITM is thinking is very <laughs> difficult to say <laughs> because it's a complex organization. But uh, no, I, uh, ITM is, is working as an artist in the middle of the, pro of the project. So uh, we are, yes, we've got this manifest and now we've got uh, another, I, I cross my finger, but we are supposed to, we are applying for a, a special uh, uh, tender of, of uh, Europe to develop the, the to, and to reflect on, on the future of, of the art in Europe. So it's on, uh, yes, it, it, it's on, it's on, on the work. So uh, it's difficult now. Of course, we, we want to, to make fluent the exchange in the world, not even in Europe, in the world. But for all kind of audience, you know, we are very focused on the on the gender. We are very focused on on the disabilities, and and it's very important for us to to involve all the kind of of audience, and to yes. And, and the difficulty is, you know, we we are gathering information and system very different. It's absolutely not the same in Australia and, and in France, for example. So, but I invite you to go to the ATM page. It will be, it's very clear, much more than I am. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. 
Uh, I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, question about um, it's interesting that you told that you showed this uh, beautiful examples of these works, uh, like in, in this format. Uh, and um, of course, I know that they all or almost all of them are funded from some grant or something like this. Is it possible to imagine the, an appearance of uh, probably under uh, influence of this COVID and so on, uh, an appearance of uh, institution that will be uh, funding such projects all the time? I mean, like uh, like uh, just stationary stationary theater that are existing now but producing drama. Is it possible to imagine that there will be kind of some kind of institution that, that will uh, like uh, usually or normally fund such projects and pay artists for creating some stuff like this? We can imagine. <laughs> to imagine is always possible. Uh, I think that it's in Europe, the uh, the European community the, 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 is working on this. And this is one of the, of the topics we've got to, to reflect if we win this tender, uh, is to invent new uh, and, and transnational uh, funding system for the creation. Because now, you know, it's, it's just, uh, you can just be funded to, for, for uh, exchanges for travel for research but not for the production europe cannot they don't have the right it's it, it happened uh, it, it sorry it's a privacy of every government and every country We've got his own cultural politic policy so so it's uh, we're working on the common policy of culture but it's difficult with europe so extend to outside it will be much more difficult to, we didn't even manage to to hear by ourselves and to agree ourselves so but yes this is one of the way maybe unesco uh, can do that you know we we had uh, we had uh, with unima i don't know if you know unima unima is an international uh, puppet organization and uh, i met some conference uh, a conference with them uh, on the pandemic and UNESCO is, is, uh, has got a reflection about the, the culture in the world and, the, and of course the resilience of the, of, of the artist uh, for, during this period. So maybe UNESCO can be one of the, of the funders possible, but. Thank I feel like everyone going to confess here, <laughs> like coming to you. I have Come a question. <laughs> there's different uh, forms and different means. Interesting. Did it work uh, during the pandemic time? And uh, like uh, theater and headsets, or uh, during the quarantine, or uh, all the performances were only online? Oh, during the quarantine, all the performances were online because we didn't even have the right to go outside. Uh, in France, it was really uh, lockdown, lockdown. You know, you just have the right to go to work if you cannot work from home, and the right to uh, go to the supermarket uh, with a paper and sign, and the time you you leave the home, and you've got one hour to go. It it was really uh, very tough. So we, the only thing were uh, drink a glass on Zoom with friends and and uh, have some performances on Zoom. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and try to read. Everybody wants to read Proust again, and nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, it works now. From the, the the end of the lockdown, the 11th of May, we start to have some uh, performances. But as I told you, theater are almost closed uh, now because even if we've got the right, as you explain, one and one and one economically it doesn't work it doesn't fit it works only with the uh, big funded theaters but all the private couldn't work with this uh, with this economy so they prefer not open and, and stay closed than uh, than open with, with uh, and losing money yeah. 
Yeah, but we we didn't have the right to play. Uh, so now but you now cannot. Can, can. As I tell you, except in the red zone where this restriction are still uh, there. So and all the main towns are in red zone: Marseille, Lyon, Paris, Lille, Toulouse, Bordeaux. All the, the main city, Nice, on the, all the the main city are in red zone. So all the theater are in red zone. So, so they, they just allow us, but uh, except in red zone and all the French is red zone. Um, I have a question about festivals. Yeah. Uh, are they going online? Maybe you can like, suggest us some examples or not, or they also prefer to close? No, we had very few festivals online. All the festivals were cancelled. The only one that uh, they were cancelled at the beginning and during the lockdown. Uh, so Avignon was cancelled. Uh, all the main festivals, the street festival, are cancelled also. There's only one, uh, which is the final festival of La Robe d'Enterron, because it's a big, big space, and you can put a lot of people very uh, with distance and with some uh, with uh, sound. It it works. This is the only one that 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 we had. Uh, no, there's another one that has been cancelled just now, and it's, it's open air festival, you know, so you can imagine that we, we've got the Tour de France and lots of people uh, near the road there, ah, and, and shouting, and, 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 but, but we cannot have even an open air festival. So, and uh, anyway, the gathering of 5,000 people is still forbidden. So this kind of festival uh, uh, cannot cannot uh, happen. But there were very few online. We resist that. That's the difference of Chile or my friend in Chile, the FIBA and uh, in in Buenos Aires or, or the Santiago Amil in Chile. Even the uh, Fira Tarega, Fira Tarega is now, and there's a, a live festival for the people who can go to, to uh, Spain, and there's an online festival, and you can buy your ticket to see online performances. I don't know if it works. Uh, um, but the, in France, we, we resist to that and say, no, our, our job is, is live. And, and... But because many of our festival are, are, are public supported, also, this is one of the reasons. Sorry, <laughs> we keep this system. <laughs> but the system, you know, uh, uh, makes that uh, France is, oh, it's terrible in France as everywhere, but we resist a little bit more because of, uh, of this uh, public funding of this system of an employment for the, for the artists and the, and the people, the worker of the culture. And we maintain that. The government wants to cut it uh, since years and we resist. And happily, they didn't manage to suppress it. Uh, okay, some other questions? Uh, okay, I was going to ask probably the last thing. Uh, you, um, when you talked about this lockdown, and you, are, you said the phrase like that. We asked the government to fund the arts, something mm -hmm. like this. Uh, for me, as uh, someone from Eastern Europe, it's interesting how it works, like technically, uh, who this use, I mean, some, um, some institutions, or and how did you actually ask government and how they respond to that? Uh, for me, it's interesting. <laughs> So France is very special, you know. We've got, really, we've got one of the, the most special system in Europe, uh, even in the world, I guess, because we've we've got uh, four level of subsidizing. We can be supported by government. We can be supported by the land. We can be supported by the district, and we can be supported by the town. This is all public money, and for that, and then we've got some um, other kind of institution who are collecting the, the author rights or, the, or, or some, some rights of, of, of the exp 
exploitation of the videos of, and, and so on. So it's collected and it's spread in different uh, groups, which are Adami, Spedidam, and some these groups are, are just give back the money for the creation. So we've got a lot of way. Uh, for example, I'm here with a, with a, a grant of the Spedidam who helps us in touring. So we've got really a lot of way to have money, even if the uh, independent uh, system also exists and is difficult. But the, the, the base of the funded groups is, is very large in France, and you can uh, accumulate all this fund. For example, our company got a convention with the state for three years, and we've got a convention with the, with the land every year, but it seems years. We've got convention with the, with the district and with the town. So we can have this money, and during the pandemic, they don't cut the subside because it was unfair. Of course, we didn't play nothing. We have two performances this year, or three, and usually we have got 100. So uh, for us, it's really uh, it <laughs> goes down. It's impact our economy, of course, because when you've got 100 uh, performances, you've got the incomes of 100 performances in, uh, plus your subside. Now we just have the subside, so we've got to cut uh, in, in, our, in our salaries. But we had a special system also, uh, which is called the partial unemployment. So the government paid for refund us from the salaries of the, uh, we give to our to our employees. Yeah, we are lucky in France. Really. <laughs> um, okay, thank you very much for You're this uh, talk. It was really interesting. Um, if you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, thank you. Uh, I will just remind to the people who may be interested that- I, I let you share. <laughs> It's fine. Um, yeah, it's nice to have this offline applause. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's today at 1 p.m. in Kiev time, so it's uh, 12 in Cest. Uh, we have uh, a lecture from Nick Akorn from Graz. He will be speaking about interactive art and participative performances as a means of communication with audience. Uh, he is a musician and a composer, and it's interesting that he will give us a bit different perspective on theater and how we can communicate with audience uh, in another way. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>